that we probably work on these 20 hours a day. Brittany Burgoyne and her family and friends are doing everything they can. We've probably made, I don't know, at least two to 3,000 in the past two weeks. They have been hand making masks and giving them out for free to anyone that needs them. An idea that Burgoyne came up with to help people like her one and a half year old son that have an underlying condition. We wanted everybody else to not have to worry about their children that also or their family members that also have it. Their operation was a success from the start. I thought maybe a few people would want them and then I got in the first day probably 100 or 200 messages about them. Burgoyne gave out over 200 masks in the first day and the requests haven't slowed down. A lot of people come right at 10 a.m. And there's, you know, five or six people at least that line up and at a time, sometimes even more. But as Burgoyne tried to help protect other families, tragedy struck her own. Actually, about two days ago, my grandpa passed away from it. The coronavirus took the life of Burgoyne's grandfather. And instead of taking a day off like most people would, the family continued to make more masks. He would prefer us to keep other people's family members safe rather than to take the day off. This act of humanity from the Burgoyne family has inspired others to help as well. A lot of people just come and help because they think, you know, it's a good thing and they want to help get masks out to everybody we can. Burgoyne believes that if she continues to get the materials she needs, she can keep this going for as long as needed. I just want to keep everybody as safe as possible. Dylan McKim, Cronkite News.